in this section we will see the sparse modeling and estimation so sparse modeling mainly contains the sparse matrix or which is also called as a sparse array which is a matrix in which most of the elements are zero the main essence of this particular matrix is that most of that is we can say maximum elements of this matrix are zero by contrast if most of the elements are non zero then the matrix is considered as dense so sparse matrix is a matrix which contains the elements that are zero and if the matrix contains non zero elements then that is called as a dense matrix so the number of zero valued elements divided by total number of elements is called as sparsity of that particular matrix means whatever elements our matrix is having the number of zero elements that is the number of elements which are having value zero that are divided by the total number of elements of that matrix is called as sparsity of matrix generally it is equal to 1 minus the density of that particular matrix now we can see in this particular matrix that there are various zero elements so this particular matrix contains 9 non zero elements and 26 zero elements okay 9 non zero elements and 26 zero elements that's why the sparsity of this particular matrix is 74% and the density is 26% now the next comes that is the time series now as its name implies time series is a series of data points in which each data point is associated with a time stamp so as its name implies it is related with time so it is a series of data points in which each and every single data point is associated with a time stamp the simple example of this is price of stock in the stock market at different points of time on a given day as we know in the stock market the price of stock is different it's not same all the time it's different at according to time that is the best example of time series one more example we can consider that is amount of rainfall in a region at different months of a year if we are considering the rainfall then in spite of year i should say if i will talk about a day the frequency is different of rainfall in the particular region that is also one of the best example of the time series so the description uh, parameters that are used in time series are data start end and frequency so data means what so data is nothing but the matrix that contains the values that are used in the time series so data is nothing but the values that are used in the time series then the next is start start means it specifies the start time for the first observation in time series now data is what data is nothing but the values that are used in time series now when we are starting with our first observation then the description parameter start is used then next comes end as start is used for the start observation first for the first observation end is used for the last observation in time series and the last the description parameter is frequency so frequency uh, specifies the number of observations per unit time what frequency is doing so frequency is basically used for specifying the number of observation per unit time so the ex except the parameter data all the parameters are optional in the time series means start end frequency are not the mandatory optionals they are optional whereas data is the mandatory description parameter which is associated with the time series so uh, this is all about the sparse modeling and estimating as well as the time series now in our next section we will see the deep learning and the deep learning architecture thank you